Welcome to my studio. I am working on a painting that I'm doing especially for my eBay auction. And this is for Mother's Day. And to celebrate that, I have a mother, a little hen, Gamble, Gamble Quail, and some of her little chicks, or chicklets as Jack always used to like to call them. I love gamble quail. I love any quail. You know, hearing their bob bob whites, bob bob whites. Um, in fact, when Jack and I lived in Floresville, you could hear the quail, and so I'd go, you could hear them, and, and we'd say, Jack, Jack White, Jack, Jack White. But when we lived in Carefree, Arizona, we had, we had some huge pots of geraniums on our back porch, and we had a little courtyard that was enclosed with a colored turquoise gate and just really beautiful and one morning as I was watering I discovered a bunch of quail eggs underneath one of the geraniums just in a little kind of a in depression in the mulch so I just said oh my gosh the quail have adopted us so I was very careful when I water and everything and they hatched and our little courtyard was protected the coyotes and critters couldn't get the quail. I mean, the mother quail was very smart. And so we saw the babies raised up in our back little courtyard. And it was just delightful to see them go from those little puffs of, of just downy feathers to youngsters. And, but it was so funny watching her teaching them to fly because we had a big pot of petunias also. We had the geraniums and then petunias. And she would climb up in the petunias and call her babies. They'd climb up the petunias because they draped all the way to the ground. And then she'd jump down. Well, those little babies would be up there chirp, 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 chirping away. And she'd keep calling to them and finally they would jump off and that's how they learned to fly. They kind of just kept, she kept going back up and back and forth and that's how she taught them to fly. And then once they were big enough to fly, they started kind of flying up to things in the courtyard. And finally, one of them flew up over the wall and went over the wall. And that's when I opened up the gate and let them all out because I didn't want them to get separated and mama quail to get just totally frantic. but So I have a soft spot in my heart for quail. We also one time lived on Maui in the town of Kihei and we were right on the edge of a condominium complex and looked out over an open field and we had a mother hen with chunkers which they're a type of quail in, in Hawaii and uh, she would bring, we've always, we've always fed the birds wherever we've lived, and we'd put bird feed out, and she'd bring her babies, and we'd watch those little baby chucker chicks. And she got to where, when she was ready to eat, she we had a big sliding glass door, she'd come and just fly up against the door and, and scratch down with her claws, just straight down, and you could hear that screeching on the, on the door, and that meant, I'm here with my babies. Time to eat. So I just thought for Mother's Day it would be very fun to have a little hen with her, her little chicks. Just don't know if I want to call this motherly love or a mother's love or I'll, I'll come up with something. This is when I need my namer, Jack. He always named the paintings. He said, I, I need a name. And he'd come up with something. Now, I'm using mixtures of, this is, the, the gray is ultramarine blue plus cadmium orange plus white. I've used more blue into it to make a nice little gray, a kind of a dove color gray. And then I'm also using some of my adobe mixtures. And then this is mud that I'm using for her beak. For 
mama's beak. And her eye. This is so small I don't I don't really put any catch lighter or anything in her eye. Now I've got the beak a little bit big, so my floor is still wet. And so I can just bring painting toward her. I can just make that beak a little bit smaller. See how that works. You don't want to pull away because you'll pull her color into the, the floor, but by pulling toward her, then I can pull the paint toward her. My reference material is on the tab array next to my easel. And so I'm constantly looking at that. These are just beautiful birds. And we had a, a deer block that we got a dog kennel and turned it upside down and put the, the block in there. A deer and bird seed block. Big square, I think 12 inches by 12 inch cube. And um, so we got the kennel, the, the wire kennel, turned it upside down and I could, the birds could get through the, the, the wire mesh whereas the deer couldn't, so I could put food out there and feed the birds and not have the deer eat it all up and eat my garden up. So we did that, and when I'd put new food out, I'd go out and call, here quail, here quail, here quail, and they would come running from every different direction. I mean, they were just precious. And those little, little, plumes on the top of their head would just be bobbing and I'd, I'd just get to laughing. They were just so funny. But uh, I just love birds. Jack loved birds. We just didn't matter. If we were on vacation, we'd, we'd go buy a loaf of bread and take it to our hotel room and put, put bread out on the, on the railing of the, the room. It didn't matter. We just enjoyed the birds. So there's our mama. Say I'm not putting a, you know, can't get real detailed at this size, but there's a little more brown in her wing, and this is just color from my terracotta pots, and it's the mud, which is two parts ultramarine blue, plus one part alizarin crimson, and then cadmium orange. And this top of her wing is just a little bit lighter. And I'll do do a chick, a little chicklet. Oh my gosh, they just looks like they just look like little puffs of just little soft downy downy puffs. Mm -hmm. can, he's gonna, his little chest is going to be a little wider there, and his head's darker. But even they have the little little top knots. put his on. These are just, oh my gosh, they are so delightful. God's creations are just amazing. And I just, every day when I see birds at my feeder, I just am so thankful. In fact, in the early morning, I love to, to wake up early and you can just hear the birds. You'll hear just one tiny little bird out there, one little voice. And then you'll hear another little voice, and then they'll start chiming in, and it's like, oh my gosh, they're welcoming a brand new day. Justice. Absolutely. What a beautiful way to wake up. And again, I'm just pulling my, my floor color to make his beak smaller. You have to clean your brush so you don't pull the dark color from the the bird into the into the color of the floor. Just get his little this is just a matter really of touching the canvas with your brush. It's it's got a few little wing dark 
marker here. And these little babies, I mean, they are just, gosh, they're camouflaged. It's amazing. You get out there and you can almost be on top of them. And if they're still, you just can't see them. They, they blend in with the leaves and underbrush. And then now we have another one here behind him. This one's kind of hunkered down. And his darkness of him accentuates the little fella in front of him. And bring a little blue onto this side of him just to cool him, make him go back. And a little bit of that gray, this little chest there is going to be a little lighter. I, I put their legs in when I did the floor, and I had to be very careful painting the floors, kind of paint around them, keep my sketch. Fortunately, I had the sketch was done with an oil wash of my mud plus liquid, and it's it has dried overnight. So it's very easy then to come back. If I get any paint on top of my sketch, I can just lift it off with a clean brush dipped in thinner. Now I'm going to put a little light on the top of this one's head so we can see him comes out from brush is an, I think it's a, it's a number four round. I use a synthetic sable and they're very soft and it just, it's a nice easy brush to work with. I can get the detail. And it makes a really nice point. I'm going to get his beak down in here. But I just wanted to show you painting the hen and a couple of the little little chicklets. And again, this painting is going to be on my eBay auction. I will have the link in the description below. And this is special for Mother's Day. And the auction, the, the bidding begins at only a penny. So feel free to jump in and just have fun. It's always a lot of fun. Get this a little bit wider here. And just make him a little bit wider right here. Get him. So, I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Come and bid on the painting. Come visit the auction. See what happens. And I appreciate you. And for those of you who are mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Thank you again.